More than 100 union workers defiantly walked a picket line outside Newark Airport's Terminal C today, a hub for United Airlines. These workers get minutes to clean the cabins in between flights while airplanes sit parked on the tarmac. But they don't just sweep for dirt and trash. Dangerous objects like syringes, needles, and other things, you know, blood-borne pathogens which are hazardous to our health, mm -hmm. you know, being rushed off the planes without even conducting a proper and thorough security search. East Orange resident Shane Charles says these workers must look for explosives, bombs, guns, knives with minimal training and protection. We have, we have issued no protective gears, no gloves, no masks, no facial protection, nothing. I need to strike. And why do you need to strike? Because um, they don't give us enough time for the security checks. We don't exactly know what we're looking for, but we're supposed to be looking for things that are dangerous when we go on the planes. But we need to be trained. We want a safe and secure airport. Safety. First. Cabin cleaners are members of 32BJ Service Employees International Union and make $10.10 an hour, working for Prime Flight, a subcontractor employed by United Airlines. Prime Flight, shame on you! Shame on you! Records show OSHA's proposed $30,000 worth of citations against Prime Flight for serious health and safety lapses here at Newark. The company had no comment. Cabin cleaners walked off the job at seven other airports, too, including LaGuardia. Airport workers across the country are concerned about low wages, high turnover, insufficient or lack of training, short staffing, work speed ups, along with inadequate safety and health standards for our airports, not only put workers in danger, but also undermine the safety and the quality of service. And that's why we are here today. The union also demanded higher wages and welcomed the support of Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop, a proponent of the $15 minimum wage movement. If people aren't compensated fairly, the quality of the employees you get are less. And if the quality of the employees you get are less, the safety in here is less. It impacts tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and the millions of people that walk through these doors every single day. This is a 24-hour strike. Workers say they did it to make a point, but to make a living, they're going to be back on those airplanes tonight cleaning. At Newark Airport, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.